I'm Alex Reno with Tuts Plus. Built into every Mac is an incredible feature called screen sharing, which, unsurprisingly, lets you view and control one Mac from another. Unfortunately, just because it's built in doesn't mean Apple makes it easy to find. Such is the case with screen sharing. Luckily, in this quick tip, I'll show you how to move the screen sharing application to your applications folder, add it to your dock, and even access a remote computer with a single click, all with the help of a handy little Apple script. So, let's get started. First things first, we'll need a computer with screen sharing access enabled. Be sure to perform the following steps from the computer you'd like to control. First, open up System Preferences. From here, we'll navigate to Sharing. Next, make sure the box next to Screen Sharing is marked On. Once the light is green, we're in business. Be sure to take note of the address where your computer is accessible from. Mine is vnc colon slash slash timemachine.home. We'll need this information later on. All right, awesome. Now that screen sharing is enabled, we can move back to the computer that we're going to be accessing the shared screen from. Once back at that machine, we'll open up Finder. In the sidebar, you should see a list of shared devices. We're only going to concern ourselves with the computer we'd like to control. In my case, that's Time Capsule. Don't worry if you see a message saying the connection has failed. That's only happening because we haven't yet authenticated with the remote Mac. Let's do that now. I'll click Connect As and enter my credentials. Make sure to enter the login information for the remote computer, not the one you're physically in front of. In my case, that means I'll need to change screencasting to admin and enter the corresponding password. Now all that's left is to decide whether or not we want to save these credentials in the keychain. Unless you've got multiple users on the same computer, this is a no-brainer and will save us a bunch of typing in the future. With that box checked, we now just need to press connect. You should now see a listing of your shared files. That is, if you've got any. Finally, I'll click share screen and we're in business. I'm now able to control the remote computer as if I were sitting right in front of it. While that's all well and good, if you plan on frequently accessing your remote computer, repeating those steps can get pretty old pretty fast. So let's speed it up by quote unquote moving the screen sharing application to our applications folder. Now to do this, we're going to use a pretty simple terminal command. Now, under no circumstances should you let a little case of terminal phobia get in the way of our end goal. Like I said, what we're doing is really simple, and it's made even simpler by the fact that you can just paste this command right into your terminal. The full text of the command is located in a code snippet in the body of this tutorial, so don't worry about taking notes. Alright, it's just one little command, I swear. Let's do it. Step 1. Open up the terminal. Step 2. Paste the command that will create the soft link. Step 3. There is no step three. See, I told you, that was pretty easy. Now, we're just gonna exit the terminal and head over to the applications folder. Check it out. We've now quote unquote moved the screen sharing application to our applications folder. Feel free to do with it whatever you'd like. I'll add it to my dock just like I would any other application. When you open this newfound screen sharing app, you'll be greeted with the lovely Connect to Shared Computer dialog box. You could type out the name of the remote computer, but it's probably just easier to open it by going up to your recent connections, like so. Once again, we're in business. With that taken care of, you could stop watching this video right here and now, but if you stay with me, I'll show you how to access a remote computer even more quickly. How, you ask? with the help of what might potentially be the world's simplest Apple script. To create this so-called world's simplest Apple script, we're unsurprisingly going to need to open up the Apple script editor. Once inside the editor, type open location, then in quotations, vnc colon slash slash and the name of your remote computer. For me, that's timecapsule.home. And that's it. Now I'll press compile and then run. And the world's simplest Apple script worked as expected. Magical. 
Now for easy access, we're going to export this script as an application. I'll go to File, then Export, and give it a name. I'll choose the rather uninspiring Remote. Next, select Application as the file format, the Applications folder as your destination, and press Save. To test it out, I'll head over to the Applications folder and choose the newly created remote application. As promised, in just one click, we're now controlling a remote Mac. With Touch Plus, I'm Alex Arena.